Hi, this is Rahim Zulfikar Ali. So in this video, we will learn about aggregation functions, sum ifs, count ifs, and average ifs. So let's get start. So the first condition is that we want to find net sales based on two conditions. The first one is how much net sales has been done by Rahim in the West region. Then we have another example of sum ifs in which we have three criteria or conditions how much has how much sales has been done by Rahim in the west region on 1st of January 2007 then we have another example of count ifs in which we have three criteria again uh, we need to find the number of transactions which Rahim has done in the west region for 1st January 2007 and at the last we will find the average ifs function uh, from that again we have the three criteria that how much net sales did Rahim done in the West region after 1st of January 2008 so let's get start before I proceed to write the sum as function let's create the name ranges for each of the column so first I will select my entire database and I will go to formulas tab and here I will click on create from selection so in the create from selections window I just need to check mark top row the advantage of this feature is that Excel create name ranges for each of the column within few seconds and now we can use all these name ranges into our aggregation functions so let's solve the first condition equals to sum ifs the first argument for the sum ifs is sum range uh, in this particular function argument we define a column which contains numbers so here we will take the net sales then the criteria range 1 so our condition is based for sales van and in this particular column we are looking for Raheem which is in the criteria 1 function argument then we have one more argument based on region so we will select the region column and we are looking for the west region so it gives 137654 the next situation has three criteria so let's get start equals to sum ifs again the first argument which is the sum range we need to define the net sales here means any column which contains the amount so that it could be aggregate then the criteria range one is again the salesman we are looking for Rahim again instead of writing Rahim in the inverted commas what we can do is we can take a cell as a link where Rahim has been written so it's a choice by the user all right so for the next criteria range 2 we will have a region uh, in which we are looking for the west region and then the third criteria is for the month and we need to define a date which is 1st of January 2007 so it gets 4896 of net sales then we need to define the count as function which will return the number of transactions so equals to count ifs so first we need to define the criteria range 1 which is salesman here again we have a Raheem as a salesman then we have criteria range 2 which is the region so we are looking for west and then we need to have the month column and we are looking for the first of January 2007 so there are three transactions has been done by Rahim in the west region for the specific that date that is first of January 2007 the last uh, function of this video is average ifs so at this time we will calculate the average instead of sum so we have that function available average ifs first it uh, gives it needs to give a range which can which contains the numbers that in net sales so that we can calculate the average then the criteria range one will be again the salesman we are looking for a heme then the criteria range two will be the region in which we will define the region west and the criteria three which is the month column and here we are looking for uh, greater than first gen 2008 and the average is 1462 you can also do the comma formatting or a decimal formatting from here okay 
so in this video we have learned three aggregation functions sum ifs count ifs and average ifs